Are you wondering what's going on in the real estate market for the Tracy and Livermore areas? And you've seen home prices go down, you've seen homes sitting longer? Well, stay tuned, because I've got some news for you. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Dew at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about what's going on in the real estate market right here in Tracy and the Livermore areas. So, let's face it, you probably have seen those for sale signs sitting a little bit longer on your neighbor's yard. And if you're watching all the real estate websites we have, you're probably seeing prices coming down. You might be feeling, thinking, or hearing people say, oh my gosh, we're gonna end up with a whole housing crash again like we did in 07 and 08. Are we? Well, let's go over some numbers. Before we do, I also wanna share with you what the experts are saying. The experts are saying that we actually aren't gonna have a bubble crash. Well, we're gonna talk about why they're saying that. But the other thing that they're saying is, yes, we're seeing price reductions because the big question is, if we're not gonna have a bubble burst, why are we seeing so many home prices being reduced. Well, what the experts are saying is now we're balancing out and home prices are being reduced to back to where they should be before 2020's crazy event. We're gonna take a look at some of those numbers in detail because we're not quite to that level yet. So let's first talk, Tracy. It is currently August 2nd and it is 8.47 a.m. And as of right now, we have 201 active homes on the market available for buyers to write their offers on. We currently have 75 homes pending, which means those sellers have already accepted those offers. For the month of July, we sold 58 homes in Tracy as a whole, and out of those homes, the average sold price was $774,000. I want you to take a look at this graph while we're talking here about Tracy. So from June, we actually depreciated or went down approximately 3%. Now, if you look at it year over year, like we like to do from July to July of 2021, we are up one and a half percent. Let's take it a little further. If you look at 2021 versus us currently as a whole average, we're still up 14.29% from last year as an average. Let's take it even further because the experts say that we're starting to balance out to before we were in 2020. Look at this chart. So the blue line is this year. The orange line, yellow line, is 2020. We are still up 47.72% from where we were on a whole average of 2020. So the experts are saying we're going to balance out to before 2020. We're still a whole 47% in Tracy away from that. Let's talk about Livermore real quick. There are currently 128 homes active first sale in Livermore with 66 homes pending. And in July, 71 homes sold with the average sold price of $1.271 million. It depreciated from June approximately almost 7%. Year over year, it's up 1% from July of 2021. Here's the fun numbers. So as a whole, the average of the year, we're up still 14.52% from last year average. Take it back to 2020. We're up still 42.76%. See how far up we're above that yellow line still? Are we gonna still have home prices going down and appreciating? Well, interest rates are still going up, so it is possible that home prices might still go down a little bit, but we still have a big distance between that blue line and those yellow lines. Let's take a look at a couple more graphs here real quick. Won't take up too much more of your time, ready? So let's look at the foreclosure activity happening now versus what happened back in 07 and 08. Do you see that we had nearly 2 point million, 2.9 million homes foreclosed? And right now, overall, we're at 150,000. We don't, we are nowhere near the amount of foreclosures when we have the bubble burst. The other thing to watch is the lending standards are still way under control. They're still being managed really tightly, which means buyers are giving being given loans only when they truly, truly can qualify for them comfortably. So are we heading into a bubble burst? Probably not. Are we heading into a recession? Possibly, yeah. Are our home values going to totally crash? Probably not. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home and you want a good analysis, you want an advisor on your side to help you 
go through all the numbers that matter to you, give us a call at the number below. Our team would be honored to help you through the process. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a new video coming out for you every Friday.